happy? You happy? Yeah, Far that was it. Punditry podcast. Oh, Your favourite podcast. Welcome back to the PPP, the Parkour Punditry podcast, the show where me, Max and Benj shit on the parkour community, <laughs> pretty much punch down on you lot from our ivory towers. And yes. Woohoo! Today Sitting is in very... the same spot every week. Like every you, month, I every time. left wing. I have to. I'm on the right wing. Callum yeah. down the middle. Yeah, I'm. Why? I'm. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, centre. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a centrist. See, if we had a five side footy team, Callum, you'd almost certainly be centre back. Yeah, we, someone needs politics. to set that up. Actually, parkour football tournament. Do you know what I'm realising? That I think it's us that yeah. sets it up. Or I think it's got to be because, us. Because you know what, Phil gives it the big end all the time, and <clears> I can't wait to embarrass him. Oh, mate, Phil's getting skinned alive. Bristol versus Brighton, no chance, boys. No. We need to do like a round-robin tournament, sort of. That would yeah, be cool. Like seven aside. Get fifth unit boys, get the scruffy boys involved, get um, Breach involved. Oh, I think class. it's worth mentioning again, just so it's on record once more, that Phil talked the big un with Paul and you beat him. And he tennis. He talked the big un with tennis yeah. uh, <laughs> and you beat him and Justin. Yeah, just. So... Yeah. Football, football, they don't have a chance. Honestly, honestly, no chance. chance. <laughs> not a yeah. chance. Phil's, Phil's um, his uh, stride challenge in Barcelona, yeah, the I fountain spot, just got oh, yeah. thrashed by Seabed. Oh, yeah. If yeah. anyone's not that's a competition or anything, yeah, but if, if we say it like that, just to, just in the context of riling Phil, yeah. I mean, Phil's been, Phil's been known as the king of strides for many years. Yeah. Like, he's just got the technique and the tendons and the just the ability to hit strides, down strides that no other normal human can actually achieve. Do you um, see the speed of them as yeah, well? Wow. Yeah, wow. Like I think the, you kind of have to the... have that speed, right? No, no he was, was faster like... than Phil's, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Some, so like some of the, some of the, um, some of the angles, he it was like kind of a, like a safer speed and then there was one yeah. that was, looked <laughs> like it was on the borderline of losing control. Yeah. <laughs> I swear he just like, did he dislocate his shoulder or? He's come Something back from an injury recently. recently. I don't no, remember. No, broke his it. collarbone. Really? Broke his oh, collarbone. Yeah. Same as Orain, but she's she's back now. But like Sibe is doing that already. Mm, like fair wow. enough, it's not like it's a very leggy thing, but you've still got to like use your arms and everything. Mm. And it's a lot of force to not, you know, resist yeah. that. Current movement, like, like I don't know, biggest jump, strongest legs in the game. Top Seabet. three striders we yes. should do so, at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. top three striders. Yeah. You might Seabet's actually be in up there. there for sure. Oh yeah. Um, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're not counting John Reynolds from Denver, the, oh, the yeah. uh, triple jumping medalist. <laughs> yeah, the windmill strider. Uh, uh, does he yeah. hit strides on walls? He does, but uh, he's, he's um, yeah, they're pretty low down. Yeah, he, he's pretty out of practice in terms of like, you know, head game, yeah. like proper parkour stuff. But like, yeah, we saw him in person yeah. at the um, Denver Spot Destroyer, mm -hmm. like doing some wham shit in person. Mm -hmm. But as, as I said, again, it's like, couple of feet off the ground yeah. it's very Kieran Kieran Fenwicky even though I <laughs> don't really want to say his name on the podcast <laughs> oh my god you're going to get <laughs> you're going to get an angry message now Kieran Fenwicky is when you train only on shin high walls and yeah. don't go above your knee height for your challenges which is totally fair enough sometimes it's great yeah, yeah, to tra yeah. train like that but if that's all you train then just track and field on obstacles yeah pretty mm, much yeah. that are a foot off the ground because um, you could say like the best jumpers in parkour are uh, pretty much long jumpers but yeah. they never hit jumps to walls and yeah. that's the thing that's valuable in our sport is that to a wall a lot of people to, used to, to an do object like, as, as like a kind of training thing or just for fun like striding between curves like curves like on the ground two, yeah. like can you do two strides yeah. between these two curves in a road or something uh, and he would like put a lot of emphasis on his training Really? on that and I told I like the, a lot of the New York guys call that kind of training Kieran Fenwicking as well oh, really? and, <laughs> and I was over like, to I'm going to tell him like as States. if it's as if it's going to be like an insult for him mm. like <laughs> like they're not saying it like because it's good, good thing. Man. like and he was just like stoked that he's known internationally <laughs> for something he was like oh yeah I was like no 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 you're missing the point <laughs> what other um, um hurling Hurled. hurled into that oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not really no, no that's more just us yeah but in the same oh, way hurling in the sense like it's like a, um, it's a, it's a stutter thing. stepping yeah. on a runner and it's yeah. named it right. after someone you know yeah what I mean? yeah yeah like, yeah like yeah, um, the proper stutter, stutter stepping on your run up that's more of an stutter Alex Winslow stepping. thing in my memory um, we used to call hurling just because he did it one time yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't really like yeah so today is a very special PPP because we're talking about the emphasis is on the SPL, Sport Parkour League, SPL 2, 
um, which has just happened the weekend just gone yeah massive congratulations to the yeah. SPL team um, that have that got the the main event underway mm. and for a successful event y- Renee yet Scavington again. Tom Coppola uh, Dylan. Dylan yeah Poland. I nearly said Pawson. Shit. What's the name of the gym again? <laughs> Origins. Parkour. Origins Parkour. In Vancouver. Yeah, yeah there Canada. we go. There we go. What year was it as well? This must have been like. What year was it built? No, what, as in what year years? was the SP- this this year's SPL was? It's SPL two, but they did previous events that weren't yeah. called SPL. How many years yeah. have they had it running? Um, Probably like five or six now or something. It's I been think pretty they long started. Standing. They started in 2013. Right. Sure. So ten the, years. The gym. The gym opened in 2013. They'd had some outdoor parkour competitions as part of pkbc which is parkour british columbia uh which is an event that's been going since like 2006 2005 or something but only in the recent years did they do like some uh like they were the first like skill comps that were ever and like very primitive kind of Mm -hmm. um, versions of the skill comps that we see today but um yeah, and then they got the gym, I think, in 2012 or 2013, and that's when they did the first NAPC. And it's only recently the the company that was doing, the, well, the organization that was doing the uh, NAPC, North American Parkour Championships, was Sport Parkour League. And now they've, because it is like a worldwide, they've always had kind of people coming from all over the world, like even in this one there were like four people from japan or something mm. and even more just from asia and i think it's getting but, more and more yeah. worldwide with each year yeah it, yeah it, it takes place i think so it makes Callum, sense Callum, just said it, it spl1 and now spl2 you said it the other day it's like one of the most legit parkour competitions to win i think within the parkour community yeah. it's like almost like the golden standard yeah in terms of the way that they they hold the competition the in terms of um it's the gold standard in terms of how they portray parkour in the sense that it rep- represents how people train on the yeah. street, like uh, with the skill, speed and style, uh, and as well as gold standard in terms of doing their best to make it entertaining as mm-hmm. well. So representing and entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think it's good that they're finally um, calling themselves the world championships mm-hmm. because yeah. it's been so many years now where people have <laughs> just kind of made claim to that status uh mm-hmm. with nothing backing it like well you know rebel I mean? way like, rebel art of motion has been one of those things that yeah. people claim they're the world champion after winning rebel art of motion mm. style event which also, is like it's been happening for yeah true but forever like with the um barclay cards 2008 yeah. and 2009 yeah, yeah. also and fig comps these yeah, days fig, if you win a yeah. fig comp you're all of a sudden a world champion yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's like it seems like you Bio win Flex, a yeah. david nelms <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so many bioflex is going on, yeah. which sounds like a move. Bioflex <laughs> coming from <laughs> yeah, shout out Jared Zoe Moody with the bioflex. Joey, Joey Adrian as well. Their commentary was sick. Yeah, they yeah, put on a real yeah. good show between them. I think the the balance that they both bring, um, like Doey with the kind of like humorous edge and um, and Joey with the um, the sort of more technical knowledge as well. So oh, I think yeah, it's a really point. really good balance between them between the two of them. And I think it's like as I mean, we're going to talk about how parkour has progressed and parkour competition and stuff like, but some of the tricks, I just have no fucking clue what they are. Like, I mean, we're not the most acrobatically yeah. versed mm-hmm. uh, or have that kind of knowledge anyway. So it's great having Jerry Adrian, like mansplain shit to us. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I really don't like, yeah, just break everything down. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. And of course, uh, Doey's knowledge of like axes and mm-hmm. and everything. Axes, is that- Josh cool? Doey's um, like technical knowledge of, well, n- naming the moves, it's got so much better the con- compared to the com- previous years. I feel like he was naming so many of the moves. I didn't even know the name of that. And he's like, yeah. knows these obscure- Frog gainer is where you yeah, do monkey so gainer off of Credit to it. Yeah. Like he's clearly done his research and he's got all these I didn't know Frog gainer until down. like a year ago. I just thought it was like Kong gainer. From yeah. Kong level Kong gainer, yeah. Uh, Frog what was gainer. the thing they, they made fun of um, when Kalen did, uh, well, he didn't fully get round, but he did the cork zero and then like, like some weird pistol knee gainer as well yeah. and, and they um, Josh and Joey were both like took the piss out of Frosty from um, Red Bull uh, the one when you were in the in the booth with him in Greece uh, when he was uh, Josh Malone did a cork zero and like I don't think many people were doing them back then and and uh 
um, Frosty was just like, oh, and a sketchy gainer. <laughs> and like, and they made fun of that, like when when Kalen did the thing, and they said, sketchy gainer to sketchy gainer. It's like, oh, good, sketchy good, gainer. Good throwback there. Good roast with Frosty. Oh, you don't know what good. it's called, and you have to make it up on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so many of the the moves these days are like hard to name. Yeah, like, some of them are like they they make the move up themselves. Like Kalen Chan's like heel tap game yeah. thing like what yeah. do you call that you just have to describe it what yeah. it looks like and don't let Kalen also, Chan name it that's yeah, for sure that's for sure don't let Americans name it come back <laughs> like <laughs> Super Phoenix <laughs> like, what? Right, I mean, I'm, I'm only saying that because of Jesse LaFleur did a 360 stride to cork and for some reason called it a lunar eclipse like, did you see in the we've Avan- talked about this before yeah, but yeah, oh in the Avanti Garda um, film recently did you see yeah yeah um, that's that class that Makesh does like a 360 stride into a croc which what's a croc a croc is like the inside when you kick with the other leg yeah 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 Yeah, like turning in like that but i swear he's twisting one way then the other with this this. yeah he's like a twisty king isn't he yeah yeah Yeah, he's one of the one of the twist lords he'd probably be in the top three twist lords maybe that's another top three at the end and and andre andre yeah talking about andre he did the 360 uh in Prague. In Prague, yeah. yeah. The big um, capstone spinning... Moving sign. Sm- spinning yeah, sign yeah, yeah. Um, down yeah. to the slope. Seat dropped yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. He like overcooked, yeah. kind of over-rotated and kind over-rotated. of... Over-rotated. Yeah. Yeah. So weird yeah, doing sick. a 360 off something moving as mm. well. Mm. Mm. Bloody hell. Oh, yeah. It's a funny one that. I thought it would get flipped before it would get 360. Yeah, no, I may rather front flip it. You have to spin really? so slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So slow. Well, Almost like a knife 360, that. But yeah. Yeah. As for, as for Ant- Avanti Garda, like we'll we'll go into more detail and giving that some airtime with a bit of a review in the next PPP. But yeah, we'll we need and, to do another, don't we? With yeah, all yeah. The other, but this is on the SPL, mm. and we're still yet to talk about um, the Commons projects, North Lullaby oh, yeah. and Tether by Egg. Yeah, um, I still haven't watched Tether. Um, I've seen the, some of the else? clips online. The, the, the double con gainer, or the the double con to gain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double con, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what should we talk about first? What was your highlight of the SPL this year? Did any of you have a highlight? Um, I'd probably say it was Ellis Torhall's quarterfinal run, <laughs> where he did the dismount gainer pre to the side and then popped up to another oh rail and God. then did yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His semis run was on point as well. Yeah. Did I you mean, see his semis yeah. with the like swing side flip? Yeah, I just Gap thought through. that moment was the moment that yeah. really like yeah. met, like I was just like, I mean, this with fucking kid, man, with like, that jump up to the rail and that like w- one eighty on the bar, like there was no way you would have guessed he'd be doing like any kind of double flip. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, and then he does like full in back out mm. and like. I remember watching that in the it's airport unreal. on the way back from Portugal <laughs> yeah, at like yeah. 5am we and we were all just like, <laughs> <laughs> empty, no, not the empty, the quiet airport just turned around and looked at us and yeah, like, what are they watching it's i was like, sitting we there just like watching falling asleep and and i just heard like, all of you erupting yeah yeah that was the best moment because you watched wild. it live as well I guess. yeah i suppose yeah like, yeah um uh, with me me and callum watched it with um nico and tom yeah. um the next day uh, in the morning Ve- you watched it in yeah the morning i watched it in the morning as well i wake up like i too wanted tired to stay recently up just to yeah ruin the next day would be right off yeah, ruin the next day for for a live event. It's kind of is is tough. But we um we woke up in the morning and didn't check any of the Instagram, so it did feel kind of live, didn't it? Even though it wasn't. It yeah, of, yeah, 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 yeah. I hadn't checked Instagram or anything, so I didn't know any of the the results um, of the finals. Should we should we go in and um obviously spoiler alert? Maybe skip forward if you don't want to know who won. Should oh, we yeah, go I through and talk about like point. podiums and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So what? Uh, Start with uh, the men's skill. Men's skill. Obviously, Tim Champ. Tim took Champ the dub again five f- times in a row. Five time champion. It's getting to the point where it's untouched. Who's going to challenge it? Th- this is what I was thinking this, as well. Like, like and men's style. Like who's touching Ellis? Yeah, and who's, who's touching, touching Tim Champs? Champs? I thought Oli- Like my. Yeah. If anyone yeah, was going to take Tim down, I have my money on Oliver Thorpe, but he got knocked out in the quarters. Yeah. Mm. Did you, I, you watched that, didn't you? I haven't, I haven't got around to yeah, watching that. Yeah, yet, I watched but, the 
quarters of the I, I feel like he's quite got, messy watching I, the quarters yeah, though because it it's like it's not everywhere yeah, everyone's coverage everywhere. Is, yeah. is kind of hard to follow but yeah, it's going to be hard maybe a split screen on the live stream would help so you can see because like, you don't get to see angles. everyone's challenges mm -hmm. like sometimes they're yeah. focused on someone and you realize oh shit ollie's ollie's over in the corner doing something I remember it in, looked like ollie got stuck well. on a few challenges early doors like he tried a few and couldn't complete them and it must have just mm. ruined his flow and i feel like like callum you've done a few skill comps before maybe you start with the easier ones and then work towards the hard ones. That's usually the strategy. My, usually my tactic. Could've, could've, or, or if it's like very crowded, then you just go to where <laughs> you're not going to be lining up for mm. the longest mm -hmm. just because it's wasting time. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but then yeah, at the same, same, but then at the same time you get to watch people and kind of get some beta. Yeah. Who was, um, who was second? Is it? Uh, second in what? Um, uh, skill. It, it was, was Daryl Stingley. Daryl Stingley came second. Yeah, yeah. I'm he's not always, sure what he did. It's always his ankle. on podium, isn't it? Yeah. Has anyone seen Darryl anything about, about uh, what he did to his ankle? No, I heard um, Joey Agen say that he's been suffering with ankle injury for quite a while, like years, right. maybe. So I don't think it was something that happened in this comp. He might yeah. have fled it back yeah, up. On yeah, the, yeah, on the 180. Oh, in, oh in, yeah, 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 a big yeah, 180 that he kind of landed deep and on one leg. On a sticky shoe as well. On a sticky shoe, yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what I said, actually. Yeah. It was like, man, this... The shoe's grip's almost done him a nasty. Yeah, yeah but if, if it, it weren't for that grip, then maybe he wouldn't, wouldn't have got there. Well, no, no, he, he didn't, didn't make he it. fell anyway. Yeah, I know, I know, kind of, I know, but like... Do you know when he, like, your shoe is too sticky and yeah. you do hit an arm jump, sometimes it can ping your yeah, ankle. I've had that yeah, on yeah, really yeah. grippy brick Especially before. Brick. Yeah. Like brick with fresh shoes sometimes. Honestly, I think like a little bit of slip for an arm jump is it's helpful to absorb the force not like, if obviously. you're going for a 180 before not, though because you need that grip to push not, on not for the 180 yeah. before but if you're doing like a big arm jump having it a little bit slicky it's i think it's nice yeah. personally yeah um I'm, yeah. I'm trying to find out who came third. Third is this guy. You're yeah, watching right now. yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah. This is a new new find for me. He's a oh, Mexican yeah. athlete. Yeah. Um, yeah. Arturo Camarena Torres. His name is on Instagram. Oh, Arturo, Arturo, did a better job Arturo <laughs> Pinky. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dominican. <laughs> uh, yeah. Arturo Camarena Torres. Uh, Arturo Pinky. I really suggest the follow. Like I've gone through a few of his clips. He is. I'm sad I didn't know he existed. Yeah, yeah. From I think I, I remember him Mexico from um, Team Fats video when they went to Mexico. I think he was in it, or they were oh, talking really? about stuff that oh. Pinky had done. And yeah, he's next level. Yeah, he really he, uh, he was. I think. Do you know when we're saying who who's going to beat uh, Tim Champs? I don't know if he he'll beat him, but he definitely beat him on one challenge. In which was? Do you know that there was that weird like um, oh, lash, he, lashe challenge where? You, we had to like lash it and then the hurdle over bounce water. Off swing. Oh, yeah. Bounce off yeah. swing. Oh, yeah. He didn't make it. But he was the he, only uh, person to, to get make to the hurdle. Yeah. yeah. The hurdle that was really interesting. He looked like he just had the energy and the commitment and like the desire yeah. to kind of more so than anyone to get his feet to the top. And the way that he just followed through on that tricky stride hurdle. Sorry for the motorbikes yeah. in the background. The way he followed through on that was maybe shorter was, legs, was maybe gnarly. easier. Yeah. Do you know what they should do next year? Uh, SPL get Liam Norbury to set some skill challenges. I wonder what uh, Renee and Tom think about Liam Norbury's setting. I like, like I like the weirdness of it. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, think I, I believe maybe I believe you should interrupt like, Tim Champion a little bit, and maybe <laughs> this this doesn't exactly serve me like in any way. But I think they it should be kind of open. But yeah, I kind of am very much open to like a diversity of like skill setting as well like SPL can be a bit more traditional and not have like stuff like example side pre's or like 360 pre's like Lee but maybe Aubrey spins would, but like reverse faults and 360 mm. pre's I think a reverse yeah. vault should be yeah should be uh, be allowed to be set mm. I um, mean they're skills yeah they like, it doesn't matter yeah. that you spin or you yeah. go over your head they are skills yeah. and so long as it has so long as it's not just like a double cork of a platform yeah. or something yeah, yeah. yeah. like the only thing that changes, like op open the door to it a little bit, but like as like, long as it's interacting with the course, those like, skills are going to be on like a somewhere. small scale at all times. Like mm. the more popular moves will be on a bigger scale, and for the audience, it's nicer to see like you know like a, a big standing pre rather than like a really small three hundred and sixty. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Mm. like power is cool, cool mm. to see. But yeah. I do, I do kind of uh, it's kind of cool because. The, maybe the people that are going to struggle with that big standing pre are going to maybe excel with the 360. So it just opens up a wider range of people that can take, like get points for different challenges. Because yeah. if it is all just power challenges, 
and you're kind of like narrowing the the avenue for people to be successful yeah and having like other technical skills in there like it's not massive 360 but you've got to stick it to a rail or something but, it's going to get but, like so many people but tim champion can do it all yeah <laughs> honestly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can't like, believe, I don't he, i followed his training throughout the year and he like kind of updates you on his stories yeah. And like he's training all levels of all skills just and, like at all times. And he's ramping up like two, three months before SPL. Yeah, yeah. He's like purposefully training to get his his mind and his body in the absolute optimum state for that competition. Yeah. It's like no one else is he's even speaking properly. He's, yeah, like he's, yeah. no one else has even got the same level of power and skill, and no one as else has got the same level of like determination and preparation yeah. for yeah, it. Yeah. He's you just see, ticking every single fucking. You box. see, uh, Joe Rizzo. And Daryl Stingley, they're very much on like the strength training and stuff as well. But like, I don't know, like so's Tim, but I'd say the other two potentially overemphasizing the importance of that over like skill training, training. or yeah, year training as training. well. Yeah. Yeah. Like no brainer. Yeah. I think yeah, it's a big no brainer. Like I don't know. Don't put your eggs in the wrong basket, you mm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like strength doesn't equate to everything especially it's a skill competition do you know what i like, like in spl as well they had a challenge sharp. where yeah. there was like you could you can approach it however you want you can do a running jump you can do a running ply or you can do a standing pre like there's a really big standing pre to a rail yeah and and, and uh pinky did it running and everyone else did it standing it's yeah. like I, I like that mm. it gives you the choice. option yeah because it's not just a power thing it's more just a control you, exactly thing. yeah um, that was the, cool um in the finals, Kevin uh, Kevin does so well. Like he's he's yeah. so good in like. How is he so good at like all yeah. of the events? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's one all of those. Events. He's one of those people that can podium on, on skill. We could probably podium on mm. style, definitely. And yeah, of course. Maybe not yeah. speed, but he'll probably give it a good go and beat a lot uh, yeah. of people. Yeah, he but, dropped out after the first challenge in the finals. Yeah, okay. um, he's really good at like. Do you know when there's like a hundred challenges and you've got to tick off as mm. many? Mm. He always seems to do well with that. But when it comes to like four challenges in the final mm. that are like re- like final challenges that's when he mm. was struggling it looks like his 180's got so much better as well compared yeah. to how, when it was at candy box yeah yeah when he was at candy box when tim champion first got the 180 pre there his one yeah. it was good but it wasn't amazing but now it looks pretty fucking solid so candy box is the video we made where we put a um a bounty bounty on the 180 pre challenge tim champions has since been back yeah, yeah and like he that. did a, a live stream <laughs> live stream on instagram yeah on his own of course he got like some person to film uh, <laughs> um but you watched his live stream when uh yeah. he, yeah, I was he watching was, he did the 180 pre like switch i'm pretty sure yeah did he, he make did, the, he, he, he did, did the, um, the he piss, did the, like what he, what he couldn't do last time he did which was the yeah. 180 up recoil 180 back pre yeah, yeah. i don't know if that was switch or not. The no, no, so it's just pure amazing recoil and yeah like he was struggling with last time with it but now on that live stream he did it and that was like a month ago and man that's just I to swear. think that he got better since the last time he went it's just incredible yeah yeah it's wild we need to stop talking keeps, about Tim Champions we talk Sweden about and England dominated the podiums yeah man it's crazy isn't yeah. it you got from Sweden you've got Kevin you've got Ellis and you've got Amanda Tiblin Mar- Miranda Miranda yeah. sorry yeah Miranda and, Miranda Tiblin is winning every fucking yeah. speed event going yeah like, yeah yeah she she can't be touched that's all yeah and it's not just like these courses are way more technical than the um than the fig courses and yeah tanji yeah. and um why is jazz calling me tanji that's a new find for me as well i didn't yeah. realize the flying tangy? dutchman i think it's tangy tangy uh, yeah he was he was absolutely gunning it in the finals it was so good to see like that speed and confidence hello. over the rails hello jazz you're on the podcast <laughs> i'm on the podcast with her you're on the podcast. It's, P-P-P- it's your, P-P-P- it's your time. PPP, we got a tax in Texas. And this rap. is why I'd like to talk about Hue. <laughs> this is not a brand it's a Hugh deal. Loud. This is not a brand you deal Hugh, podcast. You want to sponsor our podcast as well? Um, I can't. What do you need? Um, are you going to cut this bit out? Nope. <laughs> no, okay. You need to refilm Hue. Are you kidding? TikTok. No, just the TikTok because you mixed it with a Sharpie. They won't let it go out with you. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I mixed it with a Sharpie. I was improvising, okay? God damn it. That's funny. Yeah, but I get it. not exactly. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, can you redo that at the office or today before you shoot Josh's thing? Probably um, not. We don't have time. Probably not. Uh, no. We're going tomorrow. straight over to Drew's from here. 
and um, we're we've only just started the potty and we need we've got a lot to talk about do it tomorrow right, potentially yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah you can literally just get sasha for me at home callum like it's just the time oh, yeah. thing. just do the exact same thing you did just Sweet. without the sharpie yeah all right nice all right, i'll so probably end up keeping you. this in the podcast by the way all right say bye podcast <laughs> bye <laughs> Hi. That's Jazz's debut on the PPP. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we got a film again. Oh, that sucks. Because I mixed it with a Sharpie. What's wrong with that? Yeah, the world. lid on. <laughs> yeah. God, Ink it. poisoning or whatever. Uh, it was the bottom side of the Sharpie. It was, it was the bottom side. Keelan Sharpie bloggies laughing. <laughs> That's so right. yeah, should we talk about the rest of the podiums? We've only just talked about men's skill. Should yeah, we go on yeah, to? Yeah. Should we just do the should men? List them all. Should we list them all? Yeah, yeah. the men's um, speed, which was probably the, one of the most surprising podiums of the lot. Ed Scott third place yeah, in right? men's speed. The triple threat. <laughs> triple the wrong threat. <laughs> keep going though, because we keep getting distracted. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Um, I think it's Michael Slinger came in second, and yeah. Tangi Sliger. I think Sliger. Sorry. Uh, came in. Uh, they also spelled it. his name wrong in the Tangy Apologies. from <laughs> Tangy from Holland. Tangy's from Holland. Um, Dutch podium. Um, I didn't watch too much of the speed. We didn't actually get to watch that, so I don't know too. Yeah. Much. Don't know how it went. Oh, Max, did you get, get to no, watch the speed? For, for some reason, the speed doesn't do it for me. Like no. I, 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 for me, it's skill, style, then speed. I don't know what it is. So, yeah, yeah. I would agree on that in terms of entertainment factor. Yeah. Skill is so high. Yeah, and I don't. I, I don't know. I think skill and speed are like pretty much the same for me. But mm-hmm. like, I don't. In terms of, I don't know about preference. They both do it for me. But I was like, gonna speed, say- speed is only just like kind of below, and mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know why. But I think SPL are the ones that are making it the the most interesting. Like even more so than like I get that the fig comps have like the head to head races, and you it's. I don't know. It's maybe a bit more engaging in terms of because you can see them actually going against engaging. each other rather than just just the time. Yeah, um, it is but, more engaging for the average person. I feel like, but like yacht, the fig course is a fucking shit. Yeah. We've spoken about yeah, that yeah, nauseam yeah. on this podcast. But as well, like to make a course where you're actually racing against each other, then it all has to be kind of linear, mm-hmm. and you lose that linearity. But I mean, you could like make one that kind of goes like that, but then. The person on the outside is going to be like going further. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And and of course, like where the fuck are you going to build this course as well? It's mm. just a, it's a logistical nightmare at the end of the day. Absolutely. Just and then uh, the have you got the girls podium uh, we for are, speed? Um, should we do the men's podiums and then go into girls? Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just went from men's men's um, and then the men's style podium. Third place, Kaylin Chan. Second place, I think it's like it's pronounced Shay or Say. Ash Asakura. Asakura. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh first place the goat Ellis Torhall from Sweden. Yep. Um that then... that was the points from the style totted up throughout the week, yeah. right? And yeah, the skill. The, uh, what's it called? And the skill as well, yeah. yeah. Score and carry over speed as well. stacked rounds, you said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it goes in from like their they have a, a round where they're doing the best line and then they have best combo and then they have best trick, right? Have I got that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um so I think it still kind of combines the, all the of combo those. round is is um like people are misunderstanding the assignment a little bit. In what in way in terms of like like last year we had a bunch of people landing and then the wall running over to another then, obstacle. Yeah, the wall humpers, as yeah. though he calls them. Like, run over to an obstacle and do a, a low cast back or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but this time, oh, fucking hell, I can't think of an example. Ed Scott did a nice one where he, like... There were some really, yeah, really yeah. nice combos. I like the combos. Uh, it's annoying because the, they, the combos are always in the semi-finals and then the finals is always just the big, big trick. trick. Yeah. It's like, I'd love to see mm. the, the combos and big trick yeah. just in the finals. And still mm. big trick is being, like, misunderstood as well. Hannah Ho did the, um, the, the back. swing back, yeah, and then doing, like, a backflip out from the land. Yeah, yeah. Punch back. I think they, um, they did say in commentary, like... Yeah, that's not getting out. scored but yeah cool but at anyway, least you, but, it demonstrates yeah. that you're able to control it yeah. after and i guess yeah. it was the same with ed as well with the side pre to the rail and he did like the dismount 360 after that was just like a token exit yeah, wasn't yeah it, it and just like, shows knows that you, it's, not, it's a controlled yeah. kind of yeah. ellis Torhall with a swing dub pre <laughs> yeah yeah when so, he started swinging i was like i know what he's doing swing was, dub pre was it say how do i pronounce that shay, shay or say 
who did the triple court. Yeah, yeah, gap. Tri- yeah. So what what do you reckon you would judge higher? Yeah, what what are you scoring higher? About, the the yeah. double flyaway pre or Ooh. the triple cork pre? I think Ellis's block was smaller. What he's double flyawaying to and further distance. and further distance. Um, the triple cork gap pre was a fatter block and a smaller distance. And I think yeah. like last year or maybe the year before, the triple cork just the flat was the best trick. Right. Yeah. yeah, like 2015, Zen mm. Shimada won um, from triple cork, yeah. like from that ledge to the ground. The ground. Wow. And now it's getting done to a block. Yeah. Done to a block. Sketchier takeoff and to a block. Mm. But I, I know what you're saying. Like it got... It got scored uh, nine point six three, and Ellis's swing double, swing double pre uh, got nine point five two. Oh, okay. So actually, it was marked lower. Yeah, oh, I thought the yeah, other way was, in was my head. Lower. I think. No, I think um, we were saying it was the other way. That I think the double fly away pre was more impressive mm, for yeah. us watching than the, than the triple. The triple is incredible, but it just did look like w- if you took off and did a triple cork, that's exactly yeah, where yeah. you land. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't not make the block. And you don't like miss the block. It's a fat fucking block. But it's not a pre. It's, it's great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's like you can hot. You, tough to call it a pre. It's, it's more, more a gap. Of, it's more of a gap yeah. than a pre. But yeah, I mean, still, like you've more got that kind of orientation to mm-hmm. worry about. Mm-hmm. I, but I guess still, it's kind of where you. I guess it, Ellis has got to tweak his swing dub more than Shay's got to tweak his triple court. Yeah, the, the fact that is. he stayed on on his final one is like huge because. Yeah obviously you've got to fucking stomp it mm. and we saw in his, his first two attempts like he kind of came off mm-hmm. uh, so like that's like a huge difficulty yeah, thing of yeah. course like, mm-hmm. but um, I think more people are probably doing that triple cork to the block than they are those, that, that double fly away yeah if you can triple I mean. cork you probably could do that if you can double dismount you're not doing that <laughs> So hard to say yeah. for us. We're, without <laughs> so actually being hard. there and looking at them yeah. in real life, yeah, we were only it. just judging it off the angles yeah. that the um, the live stream gave to us. But it, it felt like, yeah, Ellis really had to push his double fly away into a certain spot mm. to get to the landing rather than this is exactly where I'd land anyway. So it I doesn't think really was change it. Ellis's um, swing double pre was the same. I think that was a skill challenge for the women in the in the quarterfinals just the swing I think. Print. yeah just the swing but it's fucking mm. wild wow. that Fuck it's it. wild but that is we should go on to the um yeah, the women's skill yeah um podium yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and we should talk about the setting as well but mm. let's talk about the podium first the women's skill podium is third place Lane, wow. Uh, Ian? Lenny Wonka. Lenny Wonka. I think she was from Denver. No, okay, local. Bay, Bay second, was it? Louisa Chang. Was it second? First, Rachel Go. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It. Um, yeah. Well done to Rachel for taking home the goal. Yeah, she's a bit Rachel. of a beast in yeah, terms yeah. of skill comps. I think she spent a, be, the best part of the last year in How Five, mm. which is an incredible yeah. gym facility. And I feel like you can really see the effects of that last year's training mm. in her ability to like yeah. dominate that kind of environment. Yeah, I was really impressed with her actually. Mm. Like she she nailed like so many sick challenges. Uh, and I, I didn't think like she would do well in competition for some reason. I thought like maybe the pressure would get to her, but she came first, which is amazing. And beating, uh, is it Louisa Chang? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. she's from Taiwan, right? They both did that um, in the finals. They both got that third player challenge, which is hefty. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That is fucking sick. That's what I was going to say. Like, to that's sick that that's... Rachel beat Louisa Chang because she's yeah. a beast herself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a yes, sick comp. That's so good. Mm. Uh, just don't get too big of a head, Rachel. <laughs> just don't let it get to you. It's not all about you, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. You did really, really, really well. Um, yeah, hopefully incredible. she does goes there next year. But I feel like with the men, uh, with the uh, women's uh, skill, there needs to be more competition in it. Like, I feel like there's uh, women out there that didn't compete in it. Yeah, Do you it's, know, it's, like it's what, hard what's her name? Um, who would Renee? Who, Renee, Renee, yeah, Renee Dambly yeah. would do really well. Hazard would do really yeah. well. Hopefully, I, I reckon Renee will be back next year. Was um, she injured this year? No, it's meant, we spoke about it a little bit in uh, um, 
the podcast that we did with her mental health oh okay Fair mental enough. health stuff but she'll be back i'm pretty sure but yeah, she she's would, a beast that, she would have yeah, changed the podiums yeah, for sure yeah, yeah, yeah like all three will. maybe she'll be on top i reckon yeah. give rachel a run for her money um where else are we going? Yo, um, was uh, it the like the semi-finals? Didn't semifinals every challenges. every single girl hit all of the challenges yeah. bar one girl who yeah, didn't Becca hit Jackson one challenge? Didn't get the uh, sketchy swing. Too three. easy. Too easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're too, too easy. If if like five or six girls are completing every challenge mm. bar one cha- one girl completing one challenge, I think uh, the challenges haven't been. Who said paid, paid, sure. paid enough? I think, L- I think Lorena. it's Alyssa Serpa, Lorena. I think. I, 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 don't, I don't know if Lorena is, uh, and this is guess. Not trying but, to call but anyone the, out here, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the videos, like the demonstration videos, there was uh, Lorena and Alyssa Serpa, um, and then some other person that I didn't know. But I, I assume the setting has always been like Alyssa Serpa in the past. Right. Um, but Lorena and Alyssa, like, yeah. they're both. They're not on their A game right now. They're not like at the top of um, like pushing themselves and right pushing now. women's parkour. I mean, yeah, that's what yeah, I was about yeah. to say, Lorena. Which is fucking <laughs> sick to see in terms of progress. It's like, oh, wow, like already like Alyssa and, and Lorena's skills, like who were at the top of the game like, yeah. a few years ago, are like um, been surpassed. Why is my brain giving me obsolete? <laughs> but, like, mm. that's, that's not the word. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but if they haven't been pushing parkour yeah. for the last three years, it's hard to know so where the current level of where the female, yeah, especially the female side of the sport is is yeah. gaining yeah. a lot of um, momentum. So, um, yeah, maybe, I don't know who else, I mean, R- Renee would do a really good job setting, I think. Yeah. Renee Dambly yeah. would do. Uh, yeah, someone that trains in those did. gyms R- as well. Renee Dambly yeah. set the uh, challenges at, SPL Europe at how five she set them really well. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. she needs to get the job, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if she's competing, yeah, year, well, yeah. Well, I'd rather see her compete to be honest. Yeah, than yeah. Challenges. but it's it's but it is because an important job. It is a yeah, really, yeah. really important job, and it, it's a really hard job. But I mean, we're we're giving it criticism, but yeah. it's not an easy thing to do to set challenges. Mm that you think are going to challenge well, but not thing. be impossible. You I know? think that the people who set the men's challenges are Renee Scavington and Tom Coppola. And I think maybe um, uh, Dylan Polin as well. I'm, I'm not sure. But they have like such a a finger on the pulse of what the top athletes are doing and, mm. and are capable of, I think. For Which the most ex- part, anyway. You like, just maybe need to have that if you're setting but, skill challenges. But they're not at that level, you know what I mean? Yeah. Renee, Renee and Tom aren't like elite. Well, I mean, Tom is with like speed and thread rolls and, and everything yeah, like that. Going and, up and, and through. Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like they still have a really good gauge of what would ch- will challenge Tim Champion, yeah. which is a really hard thing yeah. to do. I, I like guess- in this year that one skill in the final didn't get completed. Mm. I like that. I like mm. seeing that. It's yeah. the opposite yeah, 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 yeah. to the girls. Yeah, no one got that second, yeah. second Lachey hurdle challenge. Um yeah what else Is that, um, did you finish all the podiums no we're, just, we're working through the women's podiums now so next up we'll do the women's speed Tyler Carpenter third Megan Mc- Taylor Carpenter fuck we're, me and you are so bad with names honestly, honestly I can't read I called her man <laughs> well, no, not Miranda. Well. <laughs> why am I reading this out <laughs> <laughs> Callum is you no keep going mate <laughs> uh, Enjoying second place you. Megan McQueen and um, first place Miranda Tibling. Yeah. Not Amanda. You don't need to read it like that. You know her name. <laughs> no, Max but, doesn't. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda I'm sorry, Miranda. Yeah, yeah. She's a beast though. She Every, is an yeah. absolute comp. Is that, is she, tank, I, I was thinking this. Has she got the most consecutive dubs in... Women's sorry. speed. Women's speed. I don't think every time she's taken part in women's speed, I think she's won. Who's beaten her in speed? Miranda Tibble. Yeah. yeah. Like every time she does this fig run, she wins. Again, I'd love to see Renee, Renee Danley yeah, go yeah. against her. Mm. That'd be great. But yeah, she's an absolute weapon when it comes to mm. speed. I want to I wanna just say as well, uh, Megan McQueen and Taylor Carpenter, both from Apex Denver. They're churning out uh, crazy athletes. Did mm-hmm. you say Michael Sliger as well was on the podium for men's speed? 
He's from that yeah, gym. He's from yeah. that gym too. Yeah. Wow. It just goes they, to show they put so like, much emphasis yeah. on it. I think yeah. like that's just they've always had speed classes mm. and always have like time trial sessions where they like challenge themselves. Yeah. If you're practicing that, like, that in a similar environment yeah. regularly, you're gonna be good at the competition. Yeah, you know what I mean, well, that's that's, that's the, the thing with speed as well. Like, and maybe that's why we're not so hyped and excited about it. Like, it's in terms of the events that represent our sport and how we practice it in the street like speed is like no one's really doing that mm. yeah like it's you, so you want the people that actually yeah. practice it and of course and apex denver they have like a talent pool of people that are getting whittled down like that so many people come through their doors over the years that like uh who was that kid years ago as well doesn't matter moving on hmm. yeah you practice it, you, you get good at it, and you, you have a you community doggy. that have a focus on it. Yeah, you Brandon always try Douglas, and like Dylan Baker. There's like, so many. For um, example, if you've got like a wall pop in your line, you always try and do it as fast as you possibly can to obviously make it look nice. But the way that the speed runs end up looking, it's like you don't really train that type of movement the way that they nah, kind of like yeah. cut across the course and take awkward height drops into sprints and mm. the, it's like the training movement. for world chase tag. Group. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of I was going to say that it's closer to the world chase tag kind of movement than it is to training, training on the street. And Apex Apex do amazing with. Uh, <laughs> the world chase tag tournaments as well mm. and they have two teams as well which is maybe a bit unfair mm. but um <laughs> and they have to quad in their gym as well maybe not in their gym or I think someone's back who, garden whose back garden is it i think rob shill um, oh, yeah. the head coach Shiltsy. Chelsea, you made that up now. Chelsea, <laughs> you're making out your best mates. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, in, nickname in, basis. We got them um, well last time. Yeah, Rob Shields. Rob Shields. Yeah, um, Shiltsy, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure he has one in his his, his backyard. So yeah, finally for the the women's podiums, women's style, third place Noah Diorgina, um, second place Nene, and first place from the UK Elise Bickley. Yeah. Oh my God. I think I think women's women's style was like fucking sick it yeah, was yeah. so emotional, good emotional like such yeah. good moments at oh least doing the court pre, oh my that was god a moment. that was that was, that was maybe one of my best moments yeah. i Highlight. think I, I think more so than ellis torhall's crazy combo mm. was at least bickley's insane court pre yeah and I mean, nene that's doing, just so sick man nene doing the uh triple four i'd only seen her do triple four onto sand before in terms of like mm. The, the gradient is that the first time in women's competition that a triple fall and a court pre have gone down in a competition uh, she, oh, no she did uh, I think she did a triple before was it King of the Concrete maybe uh, if yeah. someone's done it before it's, it's been her yeah. Yeah. Is it really yeah I don't know yeah. that's what yeah. they're she, she's a spin queen yeah, yeah. she's unbelievable so and Elise Bickley has like a style lord and she just moves with so yeah. much kind of I don't it's know, such a it's surprise so every time steezy, as well. Every such time. a surprise because you don't see her training. Like she yeah. doesn't post stuff. Like, um, but she's yeah. an absolute the, um, beast. Is that the first competition she's been involved with? No, no, she's, she's done, done Project she's done done Underground. Yeah. She, she also done Rebel Art of Motion on the mm. boat. Oh yeah, yeah. I um, think it might be her first uh, SPL. SPL. Yeah, yeah. On APC. She smashed um, it. She's got to go back next year. But I yeah, mean, oh, she I, it got me when when Nene like was was battling battling that um triple Trip, four yeah mm. and uh taking a beating as well and then like she was like just so emotional like yeah, yeah then like when she finally got it and uh like she was just like crying like shelled just, up just, <laughs> and i think josh doey like said like her final transformation turning into an egg <laughs> yeah she was just like curled up yeah. like uh, oh yeah. my absolutely yeah, that, was, seems, that was a good yeah, I think she was suffering from that. a bad ankle or something it seemed like yeah, yeah. I, I said, that, that, in the quarterfinals for for skill like they didn't show it because not enough cameras and angles and stuff because everything's going on at the same time but apparently she fell like like something off something double her mm. height like Fucking <laughs> she hell. took a tumble there, and there, I'm not sure what actually happened from it wow, wow. there was but, lots of um, injuries yeah, I think yeah. throughout the, and Noah Diorgina had yeah. a bad ankle as well as Miranda Tibby yeah. the, one thing I just on, need they, to bring up is that they on weren't the, on the thing but like they were pushed through yeah. the whole competition I, I swear was, Noah picked up her ankle injury from the cat pass pre yeah I think it made it worse if not yeah, it made it picked worse. it up she, she hurt her ankle on the the same um, strides that we were talking about yeah, in yeah. Barcelona, but sh when she did oh. the when she did the plyos down in Barcelona, which I think she'd done before anyway. Oh, okay, do you but remember she, she hurt her ankle on it in the skill and competition? Though there was also a, dislocated her toe on the spot or something like that. 
this is one thing I wanted to bring up. There was a, a I don't know. It was kind of a sketchy decision in my my behalf from one of the referees. I think it was Tom. Noah Diorgina hit a stick. I can't remember what the combo in was. Oh, yeah. And she basically stuck. It was on her arches. Yeah, it was it wasn't on her heels. She stuck it. Yeah. And then Tom gave it like a an X. And I was she like, looked what? so confused yeah, as well. Like, like, well seriously? Tom, like, really? What? Like laughing. Like, what are you talking about? There were... There Granted, were, it was on her arches, yeah. but like not every stick has to be on there your toes for it to be a stick. sticks that... Uh, got past. That got past. That's what I sure, thought. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that was a definite stick. I don't dodgy know why cool. Dodgy yeah. cool. Yeah. That's maybe we had that last year with Rizzo. Yeah. yeah. Rizzo. I think that was like sketchier because he did land it and then have a little bit of a side bounce or something like that. No, no, no it stuck it. More no, of a stick, yeah. Yeah, it was, no, she stuck it. It wasn't yeah. the nicest stick, but it was definitely a stick, no doubt. Hard job yeah. though. Really hard job. Tom Coppola, we're calling you out again. I mean, it's always, <laughs> we're always going to have some call that like, nah, it's a fucking hard job. It's a hard Re- job, definitely. Respond but to this though. Put it on YouTube. Yeah. Watch yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. There'll be, uh, <laughs> that was oh. definitely a stick. Debate us. We'll hear about this on, like, we've got PPP, they got STS. Yeah. Which is also a very good podcast, which you should listen to. Yeah, until. I like that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, also another contentious call, which I've heard people talking about as well, is um, Tim Champion in the semi-finals. Uh, he did that lache, that pendulum lache, and to one eighty after the buzzer potentially. It was very oh, close. Really? If if anything, it was very close. So is it is it count if you still, start your movement? Like, so you've started your line, then the buzzer goes. I think that should still yeah, count. I agree. If if you, if the buzzer goes. He hadn't and jumped then yet, you, I'm pretty sure. The it buzzer was, went it, it and was he on, jumped. It was on zero. I don't know if I heard a buzzer, but it was on zero. And uh, he, he was yet to jump. Okay. And if they said, like, uh, the commentator said, like, if it's if they're running up or whatever, but. I also yeah. thought it was jokes that he fell off the uh, fell yeah. off that that wall. <laughs> Maybe Tim Champion gets special and treatment. Also he a little fucked bit. up. A, I he think even if he didn't complete well. that challenge, he still won anyway. So yeah, that was matter. the one disappointing thing for me as a as a spectacle. How last year men's skill was just like yeah. this crazy event with Rizzo pushing Champion, yeah. and and this year it looked like Champion just had so much of a lead that it was like you know when. You know, a team's winning like 5-0 and you just know whatever. There's no it's jeopardy, like, there's no there? There's no competition anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought that... Yeah, I that, thought is, that I mean, with, that's, um, why, that's also why, like, it makes sense as strategy for longevity and him, his body and stuff for Kevin to, like, try the first challenge and then dip out because mm. he's just like, well, it's just, yeah, it's just yeah, happening yeah. for me. And, yeah. and, which yeah, is, fine. like, But that is enough. sport, isn't it? Like, yeah. we, we can't complain. That happens in all types of sport, you know what I mean? When someone rises mm. to the top, they stay there for a while. Yeah. Max Verstappen right now. It's it's quite predictable the uh, men's skill, women's speed, and men's style this year. The who the like who you was knew gonna before win. the final yeah. who was going to win. Yeah, Pr- like men's definitely. speed is men's speed is always, always a mystery. Yeah, yeah. there's it always, always someone on that some list. rogue cat yeah, yeah. that comes from fucking Russia or France or like Canada or men's something. Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah. like the men's speed is always the podium where you're like, who's this guy? Mm. Um, who who was who was on the podium again? I knew I know it was uh, Tangi. Uh, yeah, Tangi, Michael Slager, and Ed Scott. He's Ed the Scott. Can we can we take a moment? To talk yeah, about Ed Scott. Fucking hell, Ed Scott. Fucking You're an absolute four animal. days, four days. He qualified. Uh, he did the on sites for skill and speed. Yeah, he he'd won style two years in a row. I think um, 2018 and 2019, and no, and last year as well, right? No, th- no, no. 2018, it was uh, Max Antle. Um, oh, yeah. Dub side pre. Yeah. No, he did dub side pre in 2019. Oh. He won with, uh, like, the big trick was... Uh, like a soup like full? Like in back yeah, out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, Max soup full, Antle. Soup, no, no. Soup full was Ed, Ed. Oh, yeah, in 2019. Yeah, so. That was the soup full. Max That's Antle um, did the double side pre. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but what was I going to say? But, yeah. He, yeah, he qualified in... So that's four days of solid competition where he's competing Unbelievable. in standard <laughs> three. But then he he didn't make it through uh, skill, the quarterfinals in skill. He right. just he was like one challenge, one off. challenge oh. off. So he was just on the fringes of getting into the yeah. semis for the skill. Um, okay. No, yeah, yeah mate, he's what unbelievable. Isn't he? He's yeah, an absolute his, weapon. His uh, um, what's it called? His work ethic in general, like it fucking shows. He's able to take 
so much training volume. Like I don't know how his body's doing now, but he he deserves a rest, Jesus. And, and a round what, of like applause. Like that, and a follow fan. if you're not following yeah. him. If if he put all his eggs in one basket, say style, he still wouldn't have won because of Ellis. Because of yeah. Ellis, yeah. right? Yeah. So then he's like, right, I might as well. Makes sense. Have a go at yeah. your eggs and yeah. you know, that's the, more impressive. And, that. It's amazing that he can. He's the real triple threat. I think. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I think, well, it's, it's shots him. fired at Jared Lutie. We sh- should we talk about Jared Lutie a little bit? Oh yeah. Did you see the film? Yeah, I did see. Threat? Yeah, that's that's why I said mm. shots fired because yeah. he was going for the triple threat last year, was it? Yeah. And he did well. To Kevin Friends ends also a triple yeah, threat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but. Yeah, what would you want to talk about? Um, he's, he's gone. Jared Lutie he's going, going into, into MMA. Yeah, he wasn't. MMA. He wasn't. I'm not sure if he wasn't there due to an injury or because he's just completely stepping back from competition in general. I, I, from last conversations I've had with him, it seems like he uh, he just wants to focus all of his tension attention on MMA right mm-hmm. now because he has uh, his he, his big goal now is to get in the UFC. Has That's, he ever? Done, oh, my question mad. to him is: Has he ever done? No, he hasn't. Any fighting, has, he has, amateur, no. has he had amateur fighting or anything Fuck before? Yeah. I know. I, I, I don't know. It's so Good surprising after seeing that uh, film, the point A, mm. yeah. triple threat. It's like I, I thought he'd be locked in for competition. Like he yeah. seems so yeah. passionate. So yeah. like I don't know. Just on yeah. the one hand, UFC may like if you have a chance, maybe more of a <laughs> a goal that's worth pursuing because there's like. You can put all your eggs in the basket of parkour, which a lot of us want him to do because it's like, no, don't leave parkour. Like it's squandered potential. We need you, such... the sheriff. Yeah, you're you're the, the you're sheriff. the sheriff. You're the uh, <laughs> the amazing one with so much potential yeah. to do well. But like, what happens when you win all three? Like, yeah, you get three grand, but half of that is going to paying for your for your flights or whatever. And, Money's and not like, <laughs> yeah, if, if you're thinking about if, money, if though, you, you make more like, money in, the in UFC. parkour than UFC. Hundred percent. But that's that's Through the doing thing. Commercials if, if you shit, do you know well, I mean? if if you get to the same, if you get to the same level, like yeah. you're probably probably back the UFC. I guess. But like, no, because even, he's not getting to that level. Like, he, he's that's already, the thing. He, yeah, I don't like, know. if he went to Fig and did speed, he'd probably get money. Yeah. True, he'd probably have better time doing that than, than, than like, the UFC. Because <laughs> tell him do you, Fig. This is the yeah, only time. The, if if I mean, it will work to get you back, like, Jared, do, do if it's Fig comes, we'll make an exception. Yeah, <laughs> being a being a UFC champion, yeah, you're gonna get really like rich and famous. But like that's just like the absolute pinnacle, the yeah. top of the spectrum. If you're like on the undercon. I don't think you make that much money in the UFC. I don't like, know what that is. Like the undercard is like oh, the undercard. fights before yeah, the main yeah, yeah. card, so it's the right. less well-known athletes and like the basically the less paid ones. So like right. getting some major concussions for like ten yeah. grand is yeah, that yeah, like that's the thing. CTE is like a, a big um, a big thing. Yeah, yeah. just like chronic concussions, which affect your the functioning of your brain. Yeah, man, it's a like, fucking risky sport, especially for sanctioned violence. <laughs> it's just like if, yeah. yeah I don't know. Good but luck. good Carl luck to him. Risky, I really I, hope yeah, he does it. That would be so fucking entertaining to watch the transition yeah. from parkour to yeah. fighting. Like, come on, bro. If you can make it to the UFC, yeah, if yeah. And he's so with you, bro. he's so he's so talented, yeah. and he's got he's such an athlete. And he's got so many transferable skills that can take him down this path and see him way better than like so many other people that have just as much aspiration as him and talent. Uh, but the talent pool for UFC because it's such like a big sport and everyone wants to do MMA these yeah. days. Like yeah. it's, it's going to be so much harder, I think. Do you know what? Like, but then at the same time, I was just talking to Joe and Jay and they were like, they they really reckon like that if anyone like Jared Lutie's potentially got a chance. I remember after yeah. uh, Santorini, the boat one, yeah. he like, he fucked his shoulder up and he's like, I'm done with competition, man. I'm just yeah. focusing my all my effort into World Chase Tech. And we were so like, and the then time, he came like, back the very next year. And then yeah. he came back yeah. and made the triple threat. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it is just like, we heard, that's what he's thinking in the moment. And it's yeah, like, it's not he might which is his plan. Which but is a bad thing because sh- if you've got to, if you've got to choose one, you've got to put all your eggs in basket and commit to that one because yeah. you can't flip flop yeah. one flip between flop. the others. Yeah, don't and, flip and flop. And then you'll, because you'll end up with neither. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll be talented at lots of different things, but like you said, you're not going to be like the top at one thing. He did share something on his story today of um, something with Sean O'Malley saying about like some inspirational quote about like oh, de- yeah. dedicating your next 10 years towards a goal and don't like, uh, don't give up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe he's, he is serious about this Good luck, a- MMA career. Good yeah, luck, I'm following Jared. your journey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't but get hit. Don't get what hit. was that? And they do. Get hit and don't get hit, motherfucker. <laughs> Go in there. Don't get hit. Hit. 
get the paper or some shit like that. I'm not an idea, so I can't don't, do it. You, yeah, you'll get cancelled if you said the real thing. <laughs> don't say the N-word. Yeah. yeah. Ideas, go on, yeah. say the N-word. No. There you go. Go on, go on. Do, do the full quote or you're, or you're paraphrasing. No. Paraphrasing <laughs> parrot. <laughs> paraphrasing parrot. <laughs> Um, oh so yeah, what we're talking about, I was droning on about before the competition. Oh, yeah. We need regular updates on like the points. We didn't get it, did we? Unfortunately, but um, they they had like the graphic of the leaderboard at the start of the event and at the end. But I think they should bring that graphic in and update it after every single person's kind of attempt or like round or whatever. What do you think about carryover score as well? It's confusing, especially when yeah, they're not that's what, showing the graph as regularly as yeah. they should do. It's like, I don't fucking, you did really well, but I have no idea if you're first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. So it's, like, it's, yeah, I, that's what makes it confusing, yeah. the carryover score, and then also the lack of graphics on the screen. Yeah. It's not that they don't have the technology to do the graphic, because the graphic is there. It just needs to be shown, yeah. updated, more, like, updated and more regularly through. Maybe like, for men, for the skill, the, the, uh, the score should be a fresh slate for the finals. I'd but, quite like that. But whoever's gone <laughs> gone in first place from from the semis and the quarters gets pole position. Like so last. they can choose what choose to go last on the challenge. So yeah. you can see everyone go for a challenge, the info. learn, learn, yeah. and then do that. Pole position would be last, last essentially yeah, exactly. for parkour people. So like Tim Champion can he he won, he was in first place from yeah. the semis. The the score gets wiped, but he can come in and be like, I'm gonna go for the challenge yeah. last learn a less learn mm. a lesson i think that's a really good shout to be honest but then it doesn't work for um for style really does it no like, if you wipe the score like in style it, you know, no it wouldn't work yeah i don't mind necessarily the carry on of the scores um but i think for entertainment starting the final with a fresh slate might feel like anybody's game like yeah. if, like tim champion went into the final essentially I'm being able feeling, not to lose he just needs to one challenge and, he's, and he's got it don't you know let, what i mean don't let quarterfinals carry on yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. just, just use that as a as a qualifier yeah qualifier i mean like you you win like in football you win like nine nil in the semis it doesn't mean you have any like it's a different team in the final whatever but like after each round, you you're essentially starting afresh. Yeah, and I like that. How in, in each round it feels like anyone could win, and if someone's carrying over a massive score, yeah, great, you've you've done really well throughout the week, but kind of defeats the um, competitiveness of. Yeah, maybe they should get rid of like either the quarters or semis and just do like the semis is the qualifier, mm, a bigger semis yeah. rather than and then to... and then in for style they do the combo and best trick in the final. final. Yeah, yeah. so you really watch good. like their combo and their best trick in in the final. Yeah, mm. and that make it so one day of, instead of two. Yeah, for that bit. Or, or, yeah, or no, really they could do that in the day. The or, the combo and the and, and best, best trick. That's what I'm day. saying. Okay, yeah. yeah, so. It's almost probably better to have that session in one go rather than, you know, do it over two different yeah. days and have the DOMs of the and previous days. And then you don't get the to... score carry over yeah. in that as well. So yeah. the finals fresh late, they do the combo and then the big trick. And then that is the the winner of the... Please do that. Uh, that that, that I guess would be this, well the, good. I the swear. crossover for, for Star was interesting because of the way that they're blocking it out with the lines, the combos and the best trick it kind of makes sense that you cross it over because the best style is a combination of all of those three things. But less so for in, the skill, I think it m makes less but, sense but if you for the do skill to cross it over. combo and best trick in a day, you can carry over the score. That's Carrying fine. over the score from the line, I mean. Oh, the line, yeah, the the line, line. is just like the qualifying yeah. to get into the final. Yeah. 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 Any, other, any other notes on... What they could do better, or what they did really well—that's the main. What they did really well, just making it happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, honestly, I don't know how much of a loss they're taking them. right now. Um, yeah, like to to just put this on, but yeah. If Science anyone, if anyone, time. hopefully like, they're breaking even at least. Man. Yeah, if anyone doesn't feel like spending, was it forty five, forty five dollars Canadian dollars? I think. Yeah, how on, much is uh, that in pounds? I thought it was view. quite expensive actually, but like I was so willing to pay. Hey Siri. What is 45 Canadian dollars in Great British pans? 26 pounds. Oh, nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Very fair good. Enough. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Come on. Like, yeah. Support grassroots parkour organizations. Especially Please. the best competition as yeah. well. This is the best parkour competition in, in the sport mm. for sure. 
SSS PPP. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit, one point I forgot about. Tin champion getting all in the quarterfinals, getting all six challenges in five minutes. <laughs> Did they you have see 20 it? minutes to get it. Same what? as last year, he got like all nine challenges in seven minutes. Or something Did you see like the start of the quarters? It's literally yeah, it's on, on, you. on the... Uh, on the start of his like the big lache challenge he's yeah like, do you know you're yeah. saying maybe he's calculated hasn't he he's like, i'm gonna pick my best challenge no no the one i know i can do like straight away does it bangs it in one pretty much then runs off to the next he got one. two challenges before most people have attempted their first yeah, yeah. attempt of their first challenge do you know what i mean like, what the hell there's no benefit key. in that though is there i mean qualifying first you get um like in terms of time you become on the yeah, top of the you leaderboard. Get, you get a, another 0.5 points okay. for being quickest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I so remember some. Oh, well, yeah, that's why. That's why. But because they don't show a regular scorecard, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have no idea I of these scoring him. systems. So Adam Dorby. You're, you're left guessing so often in the event of like, who's, how many points? Who's that? Like, you just, they need it more often. I saw Adam Dorr complaining about that in the skill. There really? shouldn't be a timed thing. You should. Uh, I heard uh, Matt McCreary as well um, talking about how uh, potentially how creativity was being scored and stuff. I don't know whether it's just because Kevin wasn't scored oh, as high as he style. thought or whatever. Mm. But I like, thought Kevin's it's combo hard to got... like it's, you can't see like what the, you just see the total score, so mm. you don't see where like it's anyone's best guess like what is scored. What? Yeah. Like, or like whether it's creativity, execution, difficulty. Yeah, yeah. like what well, you want to see yeah. each category and what it got for each category, so you can proper pick apart and see if you agree. But yeah, it's style is one of those ones so subjective. Like someone could have absolutely loved. No, it's easy, Ellis. Number one. <laughs> yeah, Done. true. But still, to get like the more minute kind of yeah yeah, yeah. points yeah, given for like different. That's, oh, it's that's so a good hard. point. Actually, do you? Did you find out at any point who the judges were? No, no, they should have made that a thing because they did. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's tactical because protect over the over the years, just protect, <laughs> protect the judges' identities. So, Anan got so they're not fish. just like blasted that's, with. That's uh, a good thing. Anan, because you know, in Red Bull, they have yeah. like they split the the judging criteria up, and you yeah. knew who was the yeah. judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, so like, they also show it on the graphic. Yeah. Oh, difficulty, um, creativity, and like. Uh, I think one year Josh Malone got like really low creativity score and doing sketchy gainers. Could doing like yeah, sketchy gainers. And you knew and, who judged creativity. Yeah, and, and then, just literally sniped them. Pretty yeah, much. and he was getting Anna was getting sniped so much that he had to make a like an yeah. explanation video yeah, yeah. explaining why he's given him that marks. And to be fair, he did a really good job of explaining mm. what his process was. Came yeah. on the most podcast as well. And he was and saying that Josh Malone wasn't using the course he just in yeah. the same way as other people he just yeah, used yeah. the basic platforms, platforms yeah. with creative tricks yeah so super he, like creative yeah. off-axis platform tricks but like yeah you're not touching you're just using the basic yeah. obstacles and yeah. not your creativity is more about like oh he, he like tacked off that bit or used that bit and then no one else has touched mm. i think he was approaching it more with that mindset he had like three levels of creativity because you could yeah. argue that creativity is ideas not movements alone. yeah yeah like and ideas in the space that ideas in the yeah, space yeah, ideas yeah, yeah. that are molded around the space that yeah. you've been given i think it's like oh, i can do my good trick here and that's like known as a creative trick it's like i don't no, know no no it, it doesn't really but i think at that time josh malone had like a big kind of not a big kind of maybe like a small cult following of like fanboys yeah. that just like he was the he was the the real deal and yeah, like, yeah. Like, everyone loved his movement yeah. uh, he's i don't know what he's up to now to be honest, yeah, I'm so curious to. I don't I'm curious at least anymore. to know who was. Uh, because you could like, I think Dom and Christine, and I can't remember the third judge uh, from last year, uh, but they, like Christine was competing in style, and Dom, you could see him in, in a lot of the and the clips in the background, hugging Noah Diogena for way too long. Way well. too long. <laughs> way too long, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> way too long. wifey there as well. Isn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> I didn't, oh, I didn't see that. Put Mark, that on lump round, please. Mark Van Sweeten was there as well. Really? Didn't see one of those this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> only joiners will know. Ah! Ow! <laughs> no, right. your fair, fair play. It was a sick event. Again, I'll be watching it next year. I'll, I'll be yeah. tuning in. Every yeah. year it's on. Uh, one of the 
well, the gold standard of parkour competitions, isn't it, realistically? Mm -hmm. They've got the lot, the absolute lot. They've, oh, yeah. they've taken every box in terms of parkour competition. Can't get better than that, really. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Let us know if you enjoyed it. Um, on another note, these are coming out. Oi. Star of Water <laughs> Bottles. Water Oi. is God. Yeah. Oi. Because water is God. Give and us a little, little demo so you go like demo. that. You want me to drink it? No, there's no water in it still. It opens like this. Or one piece at the top. Like that. Does it keep your water cool, Bloggy? It does, actually. You better Any rustling in the does. background, Bloggy's been playing with like a sheet yeah. of paper that's the same size as flipping Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> opens like that as well. If you've got a little mouth, it opens like that. Little if you've got mouth. a big mouth, like me. Do you drink like, like that? that? Azal oh. will drink this like... If she, I, I don't know. She, she, she would drink this like this. What? <laughs> she, she's so weird drinking water bottles. Is that your one, Kenny? How girthy is your. Stop. Oh, yeah. Congratulations for coming out. And it's well, oh, yeah. yeah. Callum's gay now. So. Yeah. Well done. Yep. Oh, now, yeah. I mean, he's just letting everyone know now. Yep. It's been a thing for a while. But. For sake. <laughs> <laughs> we should talk about the clothes. I mean, oh, if yeah. you're if you are watching, this will probably be, be out before Monday. Um, but oh yeah. On Monday, the twenty eighth, um, these clothes will be coming out. I've got the. When you going off? Um, I should get <laughs> fresh tats and that. Fresh tats and that. Um, too. We're actually going off to shoot a photo, um, some photos and a video for um, the YouTube kind of ad. So we are. Having to leave very oh, yeah. soon. We could oh, yeah. talk you about have this. have to be there, Drew's, in three minutes. Oh, really? Shit. We'll be back. Ten minutes. We'll be back for another PPP mm. to talk about all the uh, recent films. Goings on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's lots of stuff to talk about that we have. We've only brushed over yeah. lots of stuff, really. There's still loads of stuff to talk about. Mm. Um, that wasn't SPL. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, next couple of weeks, we'll be back. Safe. Sweet. Nice one, safe. everyone. Safe as flipping houses. So safe. Yeah. Bye. Bye.